Hi, this is Marissa from Atio, and this is an overview of AI attributes. There are four types of AI attributes, classify record, summarize record, research agent, and prompt completion. You may recognize these names. They're all available as action blocks in our workflows tool, and we have a video in our Academy's workflows course that runs through these. The different AI types work the same as they do in the workflows, but the difference is that you can set them up and have them run directly from views and record pages. They each serve different purposes and have varying inputs and outputs, so we'll run through them individually now. You create AI attributes in the same way that you create regular attributes, so either from a list or an object view or within your attribute settings. When I click Create New Column and then Add New Attribute, you can see a shortcut to the AI attributes. If I click Create New Attribute here, then you'll have the options in the Attribute Type dropdown and also as a toggle under the other attribute types. The AI options that appear here will depend on what attribute type you have chosen. Summarize record and research agent will always generate a text output. Prompt completion can generate a number, text, or currency, and classify record will generate a select or multi-select. Let's create an AI attribute. For this example, I'm in my onboarding pipeline, which is a list of workspace records, but AI attributes can be created in any object or list. This list is used by our onboarding team and workspaces are added from a workflow when they convert from a trial into a paying customer. We'll be using Summarize Record to help the onboarding specialists get up to speed. Summarize Record will generate a free text summary for any given record. For this attribute, I'm selecting text and giving it a title. Guidance is optional. If I left this blank, then the AI would summarize the whole record. I want it to be a little bit more specific, so I'll add in a prompt to provide information on the workspace and company data. To run this and calculate the value, I can click this icon within the cell on a table or a card row on a Kanban board. I can also click on the attribute label up here to run it for all rows in the current view, or I can go directly onto the record page. I'll calculate for this example here, and once I click confirm, I can see that the AI is thinking. So a summary has now been generated, and this enables our onboarding specialist to kickstart the onboarding process without the need to comb through the record and create their own overview in advance. This view within my deals object is filtered to show new inbound leads. We have a workflow triggered by a type form submission, which is how we host our talk to sales form on our website, that creates a new deal record using the information submitted on the form. The form includes questions about the company and what they would like to talk to us about. I've got the three remaining AI attribute types set up in this view. First, we have Research Agent, which allows you to ask questions or provide guidance for it to research and provide an answer. Here I have an attribute called ICP, which stands for Ideal Customer Profile. I provided an overview of what our ICP definition is and asked the agent to tell me if the company associated to this deal meets that criteria. We also have an example of the classify record AI attribute, which reviews an entire record and categorizes it using tags. For this attribute, we're routing the lead to the relevant team based off of what they want to discuss. And finally, there is prompt completion, which is an LLM or large language model. This AI attribute requires a prompt and gives you the ability to ask specific questions and receive answers using only the variables that you provide. I'm going to use this for some data cleanup, so I've asked it to take a look at the answer provided in the location question on the form and convert this to the correct ISO country code. The form allows free text as an answer, but for reporting and filtering purposes, I want to make sure that all deals follow the same standards. I'll recalculate these and we'll see the values populating across these deals. AI attributes and their values can be used anywhere in Atio where you'd use an attribute, like reporting or triggering workflows. As you will have seen throughout this video, when we've clicked to calculate AI values, these attributes run on credits. Like workflows, the research agent uses 10 credits per run, and the summarized record, classify record, and prompt completion use one credit each. All ATIO plans include a set amount of credits each month, and you can purchase additional credits if needed. If you navigate to workspace settings and billing, you can see how many credits you've used, as well as a breakdown of how and when they were used. And that concludes this video on AI attributes and how you can use them to improve data quality and streamline processes.